Hydrogen burn igniters have been armed. The igniters will be fired at T-minus 10 seconds to eliminate residual hydrogen gas. T-minus 40 seconds and counting. External tank heaters have been turned off in preparation for launch. T-minus 34 seconds. T-minus 30 seconds. We have a go for auto sequence start. Challenger's computers have primary control of critical vehicle functions. The ground launch sequencer will now serve in a support mode. T minus 20, 20 seconds and count. T minus 16 seconds. The computers have armed the SRB ignition. Hold down post and T0 on both. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, RSLS abort. We have an abort. GLS safing is in progress at this time. We have a cutoff. We have an abort of this afternoon's launch attempt. Fire X water on the pad has been activated. The uh, we are go for APU shutdown. We have a go for auto sequence start. Challengers 4 redundant computers now have primary control of critical vehicle function. Minus 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Everything is go. T minus 12. T minus 10. We have go for engine start. T minus 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition and liftoff. We have liftoff of Challenger in Space Lab 2. The shuttle has cleared the tower.
now 214. Stand by for press to ATO. Challenger, Houston, Mark, press, press to, to ATO. ATO. Roger, press to ATO. That call tells the crew that they should be ready to dump any fuel should an engine go down any time in the next 45 seconds. ATO stands for abort to orbit, should that uh, be necessary. APUs reported looking good, uh, three fuel cells up and running. Five minutes, 36 seconds. Altitude uh, 58 nautical miles, distance down range 275 nautical miles, velocity 11,000 feet per second. Copy, stand by. Flight Fido abort ATO. Abort ATO. Challenger Houston, abort ATO. Abort ATO. Mission Control Houston, we have a center engine down on the Challenger. The crew has been instructed to abort to orbit. Center engine down and stable. The two uh, engines are up and running and they're stable. The center engine is down. Crew has been instructed to abort to orbit. We're now at uh, 6 minutes 27 seconds mission elapsed time. Altitude 58 nautical miles, the distance downrange 375 nautical miles, velocity 13,000 feet per second. Again, we're in an abort to orbit case. We have two engines up and running, one engine down. Three APUs good, uh, fuel cells also look good. Challenger Houston, single engine tower capability. Roger that, and main engine limits to enable, Gordo. Okay. Main engine cutoff time now at an MET of 9 minutes, 41 seconds. Crew can still get to Zaragoza should they lose another engine. However, we still have uh, two stable space shuttle main engines. Center engine is down, however, and they've been instructed to this point to abort to orbit. Their velocity now 15,700 feet per second. Altitude 56 nautical miles, distance downrange 546 nautical miles. MET now 7 minutes 55 seconds. Again, we have two main engines up and running. At 104%, center engine is down. Crew is aborting to orbit. Houston, uh, we have about a minute and 50 seconds of dump time. Can you confirm? Challenger Houston looked like a good dump. That's about the right time. That fuel dump necessary to achieve proper uh, main engine cutoff constraints for this case. Need to go inhibited. I know we're single engine capability. Are we past tau, Madam? Yes, we are, Flight. Limits to inhibit. Challenger Houston, main engine limits to inhibit. Okay, inhibit. We'll keep a good close eye on it. Okay, which two systems are you having trouble with? It's the fuel turbine tent. That's what shut down the center. We've lost another one on the right engine. The A sensor's looking good. Three nautical miles, distance downrange, 789 nautical miles. Velocity now 21,969 feet per second. on our main engines, two main engines that are remaining. Center engine is down. Mission Control Houston, Miko confirmed. We copy and we're looking at it, Gordo.
confirm ET set. Challenger Houston will confirm no ohms one required. APUs off on time. Flight 